Just thinking that. Yes, that's for Marie. There is sunshine in my soul today. And with the cloudy day where we are, it's sweater weather. It's beautiful. It's a little misty, but it's a gorgeous fall day. David, you've been out in the yard, uh, what mulching? I mulched millions, all the leaves. Millions and guess what? Millions and millions of leaves. Be back tomorrow. They're still plentiful on the trees. Yeah. But for a few hours, our yard, we'll show you the yard someday, David. I want them to see what you do in our yard. He takes care of the yard. I'm glad you appreciate it. Thank you for joining on my Sunday evening Facebook Live. These are all your requests, and I'm going to get right to a lot of them. And this next request, David, you need to show some of this music. I'm using some music tonight. I have a lot of people say, do you use music ever? Oh, yes, I do, all the time. Um, I printed out, these are some arrangements I have written, and they're actually going to be published in a collection with my publisher, Willis Music and Hal Leonard. And um, I had a request from Craig for all hail the power of Jesus' name, and he said, I want you to play both of them. I just arranged both of them to be in this collection, and I thought, I'm gonna print it out so I'll be sure and remember my arrangement. So for Craig, I've known you since you were, I think, in junior high. This is for you, a great request. All hail the power, starting with the coronation.
gosh, is that the conclusion? <laughs> no. Is this this party over? No. That was what good. I wanted to play that, and you know, a lot of times people ask me, "Well, Glenda, if you if you did that arrangement, if you wrote that out, why do you have to use the music?" And I'll tell you why. I don't often remember what I did, and this has been several weeks ago. And I thought I don't trust my memory to play what I wrote out. So I thought you you can kind of be my guinea pigs. You're hearing this first before it's published in a book. The next request is the same uh, thing. It was a request from Stephanie for Open My Eyes, and this is an arrangement I uh, did a few weeks ago, and it's going to be included in the book, and I thought I want to play exactly what I arranged it, because I'm sure I wouldn't remember if I just did it by memory. Open my eyes. to it and it's just a very calm hymn to me it calms me down it's very gentle and I like the lyrics to it the next request from Dan overshadowed and I vaguely recalled this mainly the refrain you know but I couldn't quite come up with the verse to it so I did to do a little research and and find it so it is a beautiful song i have not played this for i years and i'm not sure anyone's ever requested it before but i'm glad you did starts out in the minor and i know on some of my other lives i've talked about minor keys and putting music in minor sometimes when it's not even written that way but this one is the verse to overshadow.
So thanks to Howard, I learned two new songs in the, this past week, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. I think that's it for my little notebook I put together. Um, let's see. I had a request from David, not my David, another David, a mighty fortress is our God.
Marie, I loved that you requested until then. I think of the ending until the day my eyes behold the city, until the day he calls me home. Gives me kind of teary, David. So if you're in a funk or kind of down and weary, just keep your eyes until then on him, and there will come a day. I do believe. So I gotta move on, David. I'm getting a little too emotional here, but a beautiful song. And I'm going to close out with the Lord's Prayer. And it uh, always surprises me, people that want to hear that as a solo. Usually, of course, people are singing that oftentimes for a funeral, for a wedding, just for a special piece of music in a service. But several people along the way have requested it. So I am going to close out with that. But before I do, Music is medicine. Got a little sign over here that pretty much says the same thing from Diana. And if you are down, if you are in kind of a rut, listen to some great music. It will lift your spirits. And you know, David, you've heard me play a little bit this afternoon of some seasonal music. Oh, right? I have. I am preparing for um, Christmas. Oh, yes. A so, special performance. I do, and I'll tell you all about that uh, as it gets nearer. I am preparing a special performance, not in my living room, somewhere else. And uh, it's, it's something I'm, it's going to stretch me. It's going to push me a little bit outside of the box, but I'm... It's not going to be in, in our house. I said... I it's not going to be on our piano. No, no, it's not. But it's... more later, David. Don't let the cat out of the bag. Oh, okay. Don't let the cat out of the bag. Okay. Back. But I, I would like you to, uh, in the comment, just just list one song for, for Christmas that's your favorite. It could be a popular song. It could be a carol. And I know you have uh, probably five or ten. But I'd like to read what your absolute favorite song is if, if you were to make one request. That's a good idea, David. It might help me. That might be your whole program. That might be. Requ by request. Requests from Glenda so, Austin Live. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, look at my Glenda Austin pianist. Please follow me. Please share this if you feel led so other people can hear my music. Let's close out with the Lord's Prayer. This is a benediction. <laughs>
what he said. Amen. Thank you all for listening. Have a wonderful week. Send me uh, or write your request. I look forward to seeing those. Good night.